se me fue la electricidad de un momento, but I'm back. Thank you so much for staying here. Uh, no lo sacó, ¿verdad? No sacó a nadie. No. 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 Okay. Okay, so we're good. Teacher. Yes, miss. I have an announcement, but it's not for the class. It's just an advice for tomorrow. Uh, if anyone is going out tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, you have to remember that for, for two uh, 12 o'clock, mm -hmm. it will be, uh, we have a walking to Los Héroes uh, to El Salvador del Mundo. So the complicated. Seriously? Yeah, it's the pride teacher. Oh, pride day. Yes. So, si alguien uh, quiere salir mañana, ajá, de los héroes para el Salvador del Mundo, de las dos y media en adelante, estará súper topado por si alguien se le ocurrió salir. Mm. So nice. Thanks a lot for the information. I think it's like really valuable, uh, especially because uh, most of us, you know, have uh, classes or do something at noon. So, wow. Now, Mr. Wala Tarde va a estar busy then. So, all afternoon, that's going to be crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. But it's going to be so fun because uh, in the past two years, uh, we couldn't go to that walking because of the pandemic so oh, a lot of oh that's gonna be crazy yeah because it's all uh honduras guatemala ponen caravanas de los países centroamericanos o sea esto es algo genial have you ever gone there I work um, when I work at uh, neither to Salvador del Mundo. I mm -hmm. work uh, so, but this is my first time that I'm going in the walking. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. Well, I have never participated like um, in any of those things, but I have seen like the news and I have a couple of friends, you know, who joined them. So I have seen that they go crazy, but that is going to be super cramped, super crowded. So yeah, that's a really bad idea guys to uh, go near Salvador Domingo tomorrow. Thank you so much for the, for the details, I didn't know. All right. Um, let me see. Guys, do you need more time? Are you ready? Did you finish with the four pictures? Is the silence because you finished? <laughs> or because Not you that. need more time? <laughs> okay, Not no that. worries. I'll give you uh, one more, more minute. Time. I'll give you some more time, no worries. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so let's uh, try. Sorry about that. Good evening. Hi, hi, Carlos. How are you? Fine, thanks. Hey, Bataño. Hello, Oliva. Everything good. Everything is good. I think good. everything's good. Excellent. And it's Friday, so they gotta be worth something. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm sorry about the pictures. I thought I was sharing, but I was not. So um, help me out. Previously, we said, for example, that in an accident, we have some words related like track jump, ambulance, uh, police officers, um, uh, injured people, damages, etc. What about this one? What comes to your mind when you see this picture? Trees. Okay, Hold trees. On. Uh, trees, Box. let me write them down. What else? Box. Plants. Plants. Worms. Oh, worms, okay. Land. Mm -hmm. per fertilizers. Fertilizer, okay. Vegetables. Roses. Double. Vegetables. Okay. Worms. Word. Water. Oh, water. Okay. Roses. Okay. Flowers. Like flowers in general. Roses, flowers, okay. Seeds. Flowers. That's a good. Seeds. Seeds. Oh, seeds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seeds. Insects. Okay. Or bugs, right? Okay. When you say Birds. seeds. Uh, it came to my mind thieves, you know, because normally when guys, I don't know if you are familiar or if you have ever made a milpa or if you know what that is. Of so course. are ladrones, there are thieves, right? <laughs> and they come and they steal part of the of the uh, crops. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, oh, thieves. Okay. Nice. Uh, let me see if I can choose a different one. So I'm going to uh, write the words here so we can have them still very close okay what about the ones uh, related to supermarket what comes to your mind when you see this person in a supermarket relaxing relaxing cashier 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 shopping yeah. cart shopping cart oh okay shopping cart money money uh-huh definitely yes Cash, credit price. Cash, credit, okay. Expensive. Expensive, okay. Or chip. Okay, expensive chip, uh-huh. Shelves. Shelves, very nice, okay. Payment. Uh, can you repeat that, please? Payment. Payment. The, the payment. Yes, the payment. Okay. Happiness. Why? <laughs> Why happiness? Oh, I because it's relaxing. It's relaxing. Yes, teacher. It's, it's uh, gratificante. Gratitude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. So you you relate like shopping with okay going to the supermarket with happiness? Yes. Okay. 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 Son cosas yes. de señora, yes. ¿eh? <laughs> Ladies, you can understand that. Yo tengo 25 años y amo ir al super. <laughs> lady stuff. And but time. I don't think it's only lady stuff because I remember that Carlos mentioned last time that he was a pro, you know, looking for offers and the things with the, the best prices. So it's a sensei. Uh, so I don't think it's a lady stuff. <laughs> Guys, do you like going to the supermarket? Gabby? Of course. Francisco, do you like going to... Really? Oh, okay. Who is the youngest, guys? Who is the youngest in the group? I don't know. Is anybody 20? Do we have anybody like who is 18 or 19 years old? I'm 24, but... I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. You're the younger, so okay, yes. So 24. Is anybody uh, younger than 24? I'm 23. Oh, okay, Enrique. Okay. Um, so what about the I'm rest? I'm 15. 
Uh, come on. <laughs> so you don't even believe that. <laughs> okay. So, hi, Margarita. Uh, so, guys, what about the rest? Is anybody younger than Enrique? Younger than 23? No. Wow, Enrique, congrats. No. So you are the you are the baby of this group. <laughs> okay. Enrique, do you like going to the supermarket? Because Mauricio says that this is ladies' stuff. <laughs> I like uh, not the, the famous. But not the? The payment. Uh, so you like going, but not paying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Enrique, le escucho un poquito lejos, but I don't know if it's because of the earphones. No, yo creo que es por la lluvia, no sé. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, all right, but what is your favorite, like, aisle? What's your favorite aisle in the supermarket? Uh, they are divided in different sections, right? So we normally call them aisle. So what is your favorite aisle? Aisle. Pasillo. Mm, that's an aisle. Yes, that's an aisle. Like in the uh, in a in a in an airplane. So the airplanes have like window seat, then has another, and then have the aisle seat. So aisle is a space in the middle. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is your favorite aisle? Or section. Don't tell me drinks. <laughs> so what do you normally check, Enrique? He's a baby, can drink. Man. Yes, now about 23. He's, he's a citizen already. Cars. 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 Stop cars. Yeah. In Walmart hub. Oh, okay. I, I was thinking about the like, Spencer Super Selectus and I was like, where? <laughs> okay, yeah, Walmart. It's Oh, I love Walmart. Like Epa, right? So Epa, Walmart, those are pretty cool places. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, so yeah, you're right. We can also include the aisle right here. And guys, let's go with one more picture. It is this one. Uh, what comes to your mind when you see an athlete? Um, exercise. Okay, exercise. Uh, Wrong. So, so Running. Bike. Bicycle. Bike, like bicycle? Bicycle, yes. Oh, okay, bicycle. No worries, no worries. Run the, bicycle. Velocity. The, the velocity the or the speed? The, the speed. Speed. Kilometers. The bicycle. The bicycle. Kilometers, riding a bicycle or cycling. Mm -hmm. Cycling, bye. bye, bye. What else? The Anything stresses. Else? Well, people Orange. call it biking too, but I don't. Uh, I got to be super honest with you. I don't know if biking is acceptable. I think it's more British, but that would be cycling or biking. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the biking is a deport. I have seen it as a sport, but I'm not sure if it is in Brit like in British English that people call it biking. So I'm it's not a hundred percent sure. Is it, is it strain deeper, I guess, bike? Mm. The, 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 the difference is teacher is because cycling cycling is for example with the normal by uh, bicicletas in mountain or in a street, but biking it's called because it's something like the rollings. Rollings son los que están en patines. Skaters, los que usan patineta, y biking es eh, bicicletas pequeñas especializadas para hacer piruetas. Son como oh. las mudas. de patinetas. Y los rollers son los de patines. Patina. En línea, no de cuatro oh. roditas. Son las modas, ¿verdad? Yes, El, yes, son yes. Los, okay. los que están en esa parte del mundo, ahí hay skaters, vikings, y rollers. I knew that uh, we call it biking sometimes, but I didn't know that is specifically for like small bicycles. Okay, okay, that's really good to know. Let me let me read a little bit about that because I'm not very familiar with uh, cycling, but nice to know. Okay, so we have running, we have um, uh, biking, cycling. You said anything else that you have with this picture? Burn, sweat, oh, sweat. Sorry. Uh, okay, sweat. That's okay. Sport. Mm -hmm. Effort. Fast. Effort. Very nice. Fast or the speed. Okay. So we can use the word. We can use the word speed here. Yep. 
Enrique? Jogging. Oh, jogging. Okay, jogging. Race. Race, very nice. Anybody else? Tennis. Tennis, okay. Surf. Surf, okay. Anything else? Do you have any know, other For example, something like a, a peaceful. Peaceful. Yeah. For some people, it's very, uh, I don't know how to say gratificante, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Satisfying. Satisfying, Satisf but it's like something that uh, people use it for help um, salud mental. Mental health. Yeah, I guess uh, sport, sports mean like a different thing for everybody, right? For me, yeah. sports are like a way to relax. But for some other people, it's uh, peacefulness, as you said, like if you do yoga, for example. So I think it really depends. Okay, very nice. Why are we doing these guys? Because... I want to come to impromptu speech. So, me hicieron falta, I was missing un par de tareas. Así que vamos a compensarlas. We're going to try to compensate them um, a little bit with some impromptu speech. Guys, eh, algunos me, gracias a quienes me enviaron el audio con weakness and strength, but still me hicieron falta a couple of them. Así que let's go ahead and hit this right now. Um, what are we going to do? So normally, lo que necesitamos at the moment of talking about a topic is vocabulary. So this helps a lot to come up with ideas and how to speak about something because no es necesario que tenga, you know, sentences o que escriba lo que voy a decir. But if I write the words that are related to the topic, I will have an idea or what else I can say, right? And I push myself to speak because I see the vocabulary and oh, and this, and I can talk about this, I can talk about that. So let's try to, um, we're gonna try to um, give it a try right here. Uh, let me see. Um, I'm going to have a couple of victims, <laughs> no volunteers. I'm going to pick up a couple of victims. Um, let me see. So I can escuchado mucho guys who has been pretty quiet. Um, let me see. Judy, I'll go ahead. I'll get started with you. Okay, um, I'm going to let you select the picture, okay? And I'm going to give you two minutes, miss. So two minutes to talk about it, right? So to talk about the picture, uh, you can, of course, uh, look at the words, get an idea, make, up, make something up, right? But the idea is not to stop. So I must intend that um, not to stop and, uh, and, and keep on talking about anything. So, Judy, two minutes. Are you ready? Well, Lista, or no? let's do it. <laughs> yes, Miss, any of them, any of them. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, whenever you're ready, let me know. I'm going to time it. He, uh, in the picture, uh, he's running. Oh, okay. Um, uh, he's exer exercise. Okay. And... Um, um, In, in pub food in, oh, sorry oh, no <laughs> worries no worries continue continue but look at the words you wrote idea, um, um is good day for the running um because how uh, it is Salida al sol, teacher. Continue, sunrise. continue, no worries. Sunrise, uh -huh, no worries. Um, sunrise in, in, um, 
excellent health continue go on, go on. you can do it <laughs> um Use, use all the words, use everything, use your notes. He, he is satisfying, satisfying. Um, he is, um, speed. Mm. 15 seconds, you can do it, Miss, continue. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, I think I believe I like. Mm, you are believe. Um, you. Um, or he's. This fruit teacher. Enjoying and time is over. <laughs> Thank you so much, Judy. That was all right. So you made it very nice job with that. So okay. yeah, you know, sometimes we definitely block, but um that this is why hacemos como una lista de vocabulario para tener una idea, right? And you can start talking about uh, this picture using some of the of the prompts that we see. Thank you so much, Judy. Uh, oh Francisco, you want to go next. Thank you so much, Francisco. <laughs> Creo que por error, you raised error. your hand, but thank you. <laughs> I like that. That's okay. <laughs> thank you so much. Actually, le iba a pedir a Yuki like, uh, to La get a volunteer, but perfecto. thank you. <laughs> yes. Yo okay, nervioso. so this is two minutes, a uh, two minutes talk. Okay, try not to stop. And what is your picture? Um, um, she's winning. Which one? This, this, or this? The woman in the supermarket. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So it is the not woman. necessary to describe this exactly, but everything, right? Everything that you see around her. Okay. Uh, so, uh, time and stars. Now, go. Okay. Um, she is happy. Um, she. Is looking coffee. <laughs> um, I like your, your your shirt. Um, but, uh, she look full and bread. Um, um, look um. to spend money um, uh, she buy buying uh, best towel um, she looking cookies for the mm -hmm. kids um, she must um she looking she doing many things for the family um she buy milk for your mom okay um um what which is your favorite supermarket she go to ferretería. Um, oh, a hard, okay, a hardware. <laughs> hardware store. Uh, she buy um, a table. Um, Five seconds. Um, clavos. I don't know. <laughs> And thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, sounds all right. Uh, okay, 
Guys, um, now that I remembered that you mentioned clavos, uh, previously Yuri had this word that is la salida del sol. I think, yes, Yuri, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that is sunrise. So you sunrise. just correct Thank me. You. Very nice job. In Francisco, guys, how do you say clavos when you're talking about a hardware store? Thank you. Uh, uh, so, do you have, and, yes. And, and nails? Yes, exactly. That is nails. So this can be your nails, but also nails are like to, to use in the wood, right? Mm -hmm. So nails. Very good. Okay, guys. Very nice. We have still two pictures, but we are going to use them later. So I just wanted to try this exercise with you, and, and you did it nicely. Now, um, also, I wanted to check something that is called the subject verb agreement. That is the topic that we're going to check today, talking about grammar. And um, I have a couple of exercises for you. Give me one moment. Let me just uh, come over here. Okay, there we go. So sometimes when we are speaking, um, we forget because we get super nervous. We forget some things. So let's take a look and let's try to select what is the best word or the best uh, conjugation, the best verb to complete the sentences that we have right here. So I need everybody's help, please. Let's do it together. Number one, um, Mauricio, please. Can you read number one and, and choose the correct answer in number one? Emily and Greg comes to my house every Friday for lunch. Thank you. So that would be comes or come? I chose comes. Okay, okay, thank you. That's all right. We will check later, no worries. Um, let me see. So Belen, please, number two. There are time to watch the movie. All right, thank oh, you. Sorry, there is, sorry, sorry. Okay, no worries. There is That's time okay. to watch the movie. We'll check later, no worries. Enrique, please, number three. My friends who are in the band wants me to play a musical instrument. Okay, Andrea, please, number four. My father or my brothers are coming with me to the ball game. Thank you very much. Carlos, please, number five. Everyone needs time to relax. Alrighty, thank you so much. Uh, Elizabeth, please, number six. That bag of orange um, looks fresh. Thank you very much. Uh, number seven, um, Helen, please. The lacrosse teams opens to win the tournament next week. Thank you very much. Margarita, please. Number eight, the, your trousers. Good evening. Hello. Do you say need to be clean? Okay, I'm sorry, this one or need. the other? Mm. Ah. Need. Okay, this one, this one, right? Okay, thank yes. you very much. Uh, let me see who else is here. Angelica, please, number nine. Some of the book, books on the shelf are dusty. Thank you very much. And Arnoldo, please, number 10. Even though. Even though the students like the class, a few think that is too complicated. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so let's let's go ahead and check them super quick. Number one, Emily and Greg comes to my house every Friday. Uh, is, is that okay? And if it is no. not, tell me why. No, because it's the third person. Third person. So what should be the correct answer? Come. Okay, guys, do you agree? Um, I agree no. that is a uh, come, but because it's plural, because there are two, two people. 
Okay, amazing, exactly. So remember that we use S when you have one person only, right? Very nice job. Number two, that is time to watch the movie. Is this okay? Or no? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes it is okay. Uh, okay, what happens if I want to say there are time? Oh, it is possible, but le vamos a agregar S at time, right? So there are times. And of course, there can be significado, but this is really good. Number three, is this correct? Guys, can you check all of them? Are they correct? No. no. Yes, teacher. Want. Number three? Want. 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 Oh, Because it's third persons. Okay, so one because it's third person, third person. plural. <laughs> yes, I mean, because in this case, um, you have this one, my friends. So la S me indica que son varios, and I can use S cuando ya son más de uno, okay? So my friends who are in the band want, right? Once, it would be okay, pero si fuera solamente uno, right? Number four, my father or my brother are coming with me. What about this? It's coming. It's it's because correct. it's the father or the brother. I is think this correct it's are, I think it's R because brothers is plural. Um, okay. It, it could be any of them. Oh, okay. Is where okay. to be is where to be. So I, I it's guess order. It's correct. I guess correct. Okay. Oh, uh, Actually, esto es bien tricky. This is super tricky. Because si utilizamos R para varios, but in this case, no son ambos. In this case, is my father or my brother. Exactly. So no son ambos, sino es uno de ellos. But brothers is in plural because it's brothers. But it's... Oh, wait. Is. Yes, my father or my brothers okay. are coming. Sorry, never mind. You're totally right about it. The answer is R. Sorry, guys. I didn't see the For this reason, we have yeah. glasses. Pero ya no funciona. <laughs> They don't work. Okay. But this It's is very all the opposite, teacher. You already teach as good. Uh, thank you so much. But right here, in this case, si tu, no tuviéramos la S, if we eliminated that my brother uh, or my father, I need X, right? Because they are singular. But in this case, you're totally right. La que está más cerquita is my brothers. That is plural. This is why this is R. Thank you for that. Es cierto, ya no veo, guys. Okay. <laughs> Number five. Everyone needs. Need yes. Very good job with this. Siempre que tenemos everyone, mm -hmm. right? Um, so everybody... Let me see what else. Normally, or everything, so normally goes with third person singular. That bag of oranges looks very good. Sounds good. ¿Por qué no utilizamos look, guys? Because it's plural. No, because it's thinking We about, the bag about the bag. Or about the oranges. Perfect. Exactly. Because we're talking about the bag. So the bag, not oranges, very nice. Number seven, the lacrosse team hopes to win the tournament. Excellent job with this. Your trousers need to be clean. Yes, very nice because trousers are plural already. Some of the books on the shelf are very nice job with this. And the last one, even though the students like the class, a few think excellent job with this because we're talking about the students and a few se refiere back to students. So very nice job. That's really good. Yes, Mauricio, tell me. No, no, no. Say it. Dígalo ahora. Ok, por eso. Pero... <laughs> no, como Mauricio say it. No se quede con la duda. Ok, guys. So actually, this is the topic that we got for today that is a verb agreement and with complex subjects. So it's a little hard sometimes to know, especially in present. In past, it's easy. In future, it's easy. But with third person, it's a little complicated because we don't know. Uh, and we start thinking, is or are, you know? So take a look at the examples we have right here. It says, subjects that are preceded by expressions of quantity are called complex subjects. 
they take either a singular or a plural form, depending on the number, singular or plural. So the first of the decisions has been made to go ahead with the plan. If you take a look, no hablamos de decisiones here, we're talking about la primera, so the first. The first has, because it's only one, right? Um, so the first refers to one of the decisions, so the verb must go in singular form. If you take a look at the second one, one of the good things, esta es plural, yes. Pero digo one, one of the reasons, one of the good things, one of the, um, I don't know, one of the ideas, et cetera. So one of the ideas is singular all the time. Uh, then we have plural, some difficult decisions. But if you remember the word some, uh, means plural, right? Guys, ¿cuáles eran los, los, which are the quantifiers? ¿Se recuerdan de los quantifiers a little bit? So, uh, for example, si hablamos de libros, we have some books. ¿Qué otras palabras tenemos para no decir un número, but to talk about numbers in general, quantities? Many, 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 many books, many, some many. books. ¿Qué más? A lot. A lot of books. Yes, tenemos otra más. Poquitos. How do you say poquitos? A more. few. Perfect. A few. More. Mm, probably. Depende del contexto, right? A few. So, some difficult decisions, right? A majority. So, in a number, take a plural um, verb. For example, a majority of product developers preferred blind tests. So we're talking about a pesar que está singular, we are going to take it as plural. Uh, si tenemos a number, vamos a tomarlo como un plural. For example, a number of people, oh, plural. Uh, some the difficult decisions, plural. Some, a majority, a number, a pesar que parecen singulares, son plurales. Guys, I don't know if I'm confusing you. If, if that is so, let me know. Hi, Rafael, good evening. Thank you for joining. Good evening. Hello, hello. All right, guys. So one more exercise and then we're going to talking because um, grammar is important, pero quiero que lo utilicen. I want you to use it. I want you to put it in practice. So can you help me with it from one to number six, please? I'm going to give you five minutes, guys. Can you complete this one? From one to number six. Read the statement below. Choose the verb that agrees with the subject. In other words, el que va, you know, the one that we can use, and then we are going to compare. So it says some of the participants in the testing group have or has not arrived yet. Have or has. One of the factors to decide on the type on the best type of test is or are. So five minutes, wow. guys. I'll give you five minutes. If you prefer, hagámoslo on your own, do it individually, y luego comparamos, you know, in case you have questions. So, five minutes.
One more minute, guys. The fruits of the decisions has been made to go ahead with the plan. So the fruits were one of the decisions to the plan. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and help me with the, the answers that you have right here. Let's discuss them. And uh, let's take a look if you have the same, if you have different and why. So number one, uh, what do you have in number one? Have or has, what would be correct? Has. Have. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Veamos la explicación de arriba. Example, some difficult decisions. Y dice la explicación. Some refers to more than one. Okay. Some of the participants. Nos referimos a varios o a uno? Ah, como son varios, have. Some of the have. participants in the testing group have, right? So, porque son varios. Okay, number two. One of the factors to decide on the best type of test Are. is or yes. is. 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 Dice el primer tipo, the first of the decisions. One of the good. So, Hay varias, des, eh, there are a lot of factors, yes. Pero one of the factors, nos referimos a uno, so is, exactly. This would be the answer, guys. Like this, lo tienen así, más o menos, sort of. Kind of. Number three, a number of customers, is or are? Are. 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 A number. Ah, vamos otra vez a la explicación. A majority and a number take a plural. Okay, a number of customers. Ah, oh, right? Oh. Yes. Dice que a number and a majority take a plural when they are just with plural now. So, a number of customers, ese es plural, are. Number four, the, the first of the suggestions I want to implement is or are? Is, is, is. Very good. Number five, a majority of testers have or has pointed out. Have. 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 Ah, very good. Yes. Number six, a number of comments suggest or suggests. Suggest. Yes. A number, a number. Ah, but here it says that it has to be with pl plural if it goes with a plural word. So we are going to use suggest. A number of comments suggest that the fragrance of the candle is the best characteristic. Guys, do you have it like this? Yes. Yes, miss. What does it say? How many out of six? Six. Six, six, six out of six. 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 Oh, um, very good teacher, job. Número seis, no, no comprendo por qué. Porque es suggest, and that suggests. Un número es... 
Ah, that's okay. That's a very good one. Let me change color here. I'm going to erase this and I'm going to give me one moment. Okay, so first, comments, porque comments está refiriendo varios. But veamos la explicación de los plurales, right? It's this one right here. Some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material are about the cost of quality. So dice que son difficult decisions, a pesar que la palabra son no es así plural, you know, nos referimos a varias. So the verb must be plural. Now, a majority, las palabras a majority, and the words a number take a plural verb when they are used in a plural, with a plural noun. Pero recordemos que un plural verb no es el que lleva a ese. Los que llevan ese son los verbos singulares, not plural. So, it says here, a number of comments. Sí es la palabra comments plural, pero quien determina el verbo no es comments, sino the word a number. So, a number, okay. a pesar que, es, que estoy acá, you know, eh, es singular, como va acompañado de este siguiente palabrita que es plural, va a ser considerada plural. Lo que sucede creo que es esto. Uh, remember that cuando dice acá plural, plural verb, un plural en los verbos no se refiere a la S, right? La S me indica singular. So, it's a little tricky, right? Because um, in, con el resto de nombres, S me indica plural, but not here, not with verbs. Teacher, sorry, I have a yes. question. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm a little confused. I know the topic, the real topic is about the plural and the singular. Mm -hmm. But it, when we're talking about the third person, there are some rules that maybe that confused me a lot. But for yeah. example, something that you say, Yes, I already know once it's for singular, but it's the S, it's for the a rule for the third person, for example. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, uh, guys, uh, guys, uh, okay. Uh, okay. I don't know. Okay, wait. Lo que pasa, guys, es que creo que no es... Okay, I want to clarify it. No nos vayamos a, a confundir. Don't confuse verbs con nouns. Porque las reglas son bien diferentes and I think that they can be a, there can be a confusion here. So, verbs. ¿Qué significa eh, singular? Especialmente si hablamos de third person singular. So, third person singular, the verb or the verbs, ahí se le digamos S, right? So la S en verbo significa no plural, sino third person singular. In nouns, en la otra parte, por ejemplo, si yo tengo la palabra, if I got the word book, all right? So book no es un verbo, book es un objeto, okay? So I got book. ¿Cómo luego plural? Book is singular. How do I make it plural? Book. Agree okay. in, in S. Ajá, so the plural is books. Entonces creo que aquí está la, la, el punto that I, I don't want you to get confused with. En verbos, la S verbs. no indica plural. La S indica third person singular. In nouns, la S indica, so this is singular. La S sí indica plural. Pero estamos hablando de nombres, right? Que son los objetos, books, people, children, pencils, eh, tables, tablets, computers, etc. Pero en verbos, por ejemplo, play, si hablamos de varios, like plural, no le agregamos S. Le agregamos S cuando es he plays, she plays, it plays. So, guys, I don't want you to get confused here. <laughs> Are we okay? Are we fine? Yes, teacher. Or uh, more okay. lost. <laughs> okay, let me, me know, let me know. Maybe in the last... For me, in the land, the, the point is that we are talking about one suggestion, only one. Oh. No, we don't talk about the all the comments in plural. But the C, but say we take one number, one suggest a number, a number of this comments, one, a, number. A, number. a number of comments. But a we number are means many, talking. many. Comments. We're talking before of the suggest, one suggest. 
Oh, what happens is that they can be confusing because in this case we have one of the factors, but one is very specific, only one, so singular. But here, a number of comments. This is singular, I think I get you. This is singular, yes. But it says here that a majority and a number take a plural verb when they go with plural now. So this is why uh, we are not going to use here suggests, but we are going to use suggest. So like the common one, not for third person, but for plural. So I think this is the, the thing, and yeah? that's why I mentioned it. Remember, suggest, si le agrego S, es por tercera persona. And suggest, this is not third person, this is plural. Uh, Kenya, I don't know if I, if I'm sorry, that is... I just have to ask what I call, uh, just give me five minutes. Oh, sure, no problem. So I don't know uh, if this was your question or you got a different one. And I didn't get it. No, this was my question, my answer. I, uh, okay. I am agree with suggest. So yeah, okay, okay. So then we're good. Uh, Rafael, are we okay with this? Are we all right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, perfect. No worries. That sounds good. Okay. Yes, tell me, tell me. I understand that uh, a number of uh, comments are, are not countable. Is that right? Mm, what happens is this. In English, we call plural not to, um, how can I explain it? Because it's a little different in English and in Spanish. So comment is singular. But if you see one word here that says comments, that is considered plural. So it doesn't matter if we can say one, two, three, four, we, that is plural. Um, like for example, the word water, yeah? So water is uncountable. However, see exists la palabra waters. Yes, plural, you know. So that's the point in English. Si tienen una S, y es una palabra, and that's a, a noun, entonces ya es plural. So that is plural. Regardless if it is countable or uncountable. Lo van a ver luego, guys. No worries. <laughs> you will see all of this in advanced level. So when you get ready for TOEFL exam. But just for to give you like a little bit there. All right, guys. Um, so listen up, uh, I want you to do the following. We are going to do like a quick activity. Oh, we have the debate pending. So give me one moment. Okay. We still have part of the debates, okay, uh, from yesterday that were related to um, the cell phones and the other one that was related to cars versus motorcycles. And I want to have those debates. I want to finish with them. So, um, guys, are you ready? I think I'm only missing, I'm missing three people. I need a popcorn. Uh, to see the fight. <laughs> okay, yes, no, yes. They're not, I don't think they will be fighting. <laughs> okay, let me just remember a little bit. Uh, let's, let's get started, guys, with the ones who were talking a little bit about cell phones. So I remember I had Enrique, I had Elizabeth, um, Kenya, if I'm not wrong. Uh, who was in the group, guys? Judy. Judy. Okay, Judy. Ricardo. Okay, but Ricardo had something, I think. Judy, Ricardo. There was somebody else, I think. We were seven. Yes, I remember there were more people. I'm not sure if Helen was with you. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes right. Helen. Yes. Okay. Francisco, so I think. Francisco. Francisco, no. Yeah, Francisco. Francisco was in my group. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, I no, remember no, no. there was Rafa, another Rafa. group. No. Rafa, no. Rafa, no. Rafa, no. Sorry. No. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in the other group related to uh, cars and motorcycles, so I remember I got Carlos. I had, oh, let me see. Who was in your group? Do you remember? Belen. Okay. Yeah. King Macera. Margarita. Margarita. Okay. Delmi, I think. She was with no. you, right? Eh, no, Delmi, no. Okay. Era Iris, creo. Okay. Que se llama? Sí, creo que Iris. And Angelica, right? No. Who were you with, Angelica? Eh, Andrea. Andrea. 
Andrea. Oh, Andrea. Okay, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was like, I forgot to take a picture yesterday, but I'm pretty sure that you remember. Okay, let's get it started, guys, with the ones for cell phones. So, guys, the microphone is yours. As Mauricio said, I forgot my popcorns. <laughs> okay, so uh, we really want to listen to your opinion, guys. Uh, please don't forget to put this topic of verb agreement also into practice. So singular, singular, plural, plural. At the moment that you're speaking about reasons, options, um, ideas, etc. And uh, guys, of course, everybody can participate. So if you have a different opinion or you want to add something, you can do it. So, okay. Guys, so Samsung and uh, Xiaomi was the one, right? Xiaomi, yes. Xiaomi, okay. Xiaomi. Xiaomi. All right. Okay, I will start saying that I prefer Xiaomi because um, I think the price is lower than Samsung and the quality that uh, Xiaomi give you is um, very similar to the quality to Samsung. So I, I have the two brands um, and I, I, Sorry, give me a For minute. Her? No, no worries, no. that's okay. Nice, you can help her. For sure. No, I can't say, I, I want to say anything else, but I don't remember the, the verb. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I had the two brands in the okay. past. Uh, and for me, the best is Xiaomi because okay. the, that I sell, the price is lower and the system is faster than Samsung. You okay. can play with this with Xiaomi better than you play with Samsung cell phone. Sounds really good. Who goes next? Guys attack each other. <laughs> I just I don't, I just want to enjoy this as a movie, you know. So I remember that Enrique and who was who was defending uh, Xiaomi with you, Enrique. Oh, it was only mm -hmm. only Mel that right. Yeah. Okay, that's right. That's right. Okay, guys, Samsung. For me, Samsung is better than Xiaomi because they have a better camera and they have a they are better in multitasking. Samsung loyalties have long place multitasking capabilities. Okay. Anybody else? What I have, you are an expert with cell phones. <laughs> I, I read about because I, I don't like a lot of the technology, but it's only for the, the homework. Only for the activity. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I remember yesterday you mentioned that. Yeah, okay, okay. Guys, what do you think? So the, these then guys are- I have Samsung. I, I never had a Xiaomi. Then I, I can- say my opinion about the um, Xiaomi. For me, okay. it's better Samsung because I have Samsung. You have already tested that one. Okay, okay, nice. Guys, what do you prefer? I mean, let's leave iPhone away. <laughs> so Samsung and Xiaomi, which is better? Um, Xiaomi. Okay, Xiaomi. Guys? Samsung. Samsung, okay. What about the rest and why? <laughs> Samsung is a best brand, but if you have a cell phone that costs 800 or uh, up, Upper? but, but you, if you don't have a cell phone at 800, you are losing money. Okay. I, I agree. People agree. I agree. Okay. Samsung. Why? Why? Why is Samsung around? Samsung is overrated because oh, oh. It, yes, this yes. price is is higher. Okay. 
Uh, and the performance is lower. Okay. Yes, what? um Samsung get hotter get yes, get hotter. That mm -hmm. is correct. <laughs> yes, yes, get hotter. Mm -hmm. Get hotter faster than Xiaomi phones. Okay. Go, Enrique. I see Enrique like waited, you know, just to get go, Enrique. Come on. <laughs> okay. Um, but there were more people in the Samsung team, I remember. So I, I haven't heard Yes, yesterday, the, the Samsung. They were was... stuck in, I remember. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, where are they? Uh, so Enrique, go ahead, please. For me, other the, the good things of the Samsung is that that branch is more recognized in our country. Samsung. I I I don't see in the in the market a lot of Xiaomi or maybe I I don't know. I I only I see Samsung sure. iPhone Huawei but I didn't see in the, how do you say, almacen? In store. the shopping store, in the stores, I, I didn't see Xiaomi, never. Okay. I, I, Xiaomi, what did you say? Xiaomi has a store in the Metro Center. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I want to that. confess something. Oh, well, <laughs> confess, please, open your heart. <laughs> when I bought my cell phone, I was looking for a Samsung <laughs> because uh, the company cell phone, it was Samsung. And okay. I really like that, that cell phone. So when I have to change my cell phone, my personal cell phone, I was to the store and I asked, asked for the same model of Samsung. Okay. But the, the seller, uh, la vendedora, uh, the yes, seller, yes. the seller um, said me that uh, I can get the same quality, but mm -hmm. uh, with a lower price uh, because <laughs> I didn't know the price of the Samsung. <laughs> But it was really high. I can't. Yes. I couldn't pay it. So the seller told me that um, the seller told me about the benefits that mm -hmm. we have with Xiaomi, and the only thing that uh, Samsung it was better is about the camera. Yeah. And and that is that is a fact. The camera is better, but it's not so different. Xiaomi have a acceptable, accept, acceptable, sería? Yes, acceptable. acceptable. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Xiaomi have a acceptable quality um, too. So at the end of the day, I decide to bought uh, Xiaomi and I don't and you have don't regret. regret. No. I nice. Don't regret. That is really good to hear. Yeah, because I was still, you know, Xiaomi or Samsung. And as you said, uh, Samsung is pretty expensive. So I was like, uh, I'm not going to pay $700 or $1,000 for the cell phone. It hurts my heart. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's up to everybody. Um, guys, what about the rest? So what would you be into? So I remember that Helen was in your group yesterday, wasn't she? Yes, Helen and Judy. Okay, so Helen, what, what, what do you think about it? Judy, we want to listen to you too. For me, I prefer um, Samsung brand because mm -hmm. the camera um, is, is, is better and they are ways of use is not complicated um, okay they are very fast mm -hmm. um i like i like samsung okay sounds good and uh, i have samsung i do have a samsung too but but i'm like 50 50 you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> helen do you have something to add there <laughs> I like Samsung 
uh, for um, camera, picture, mm -hmm. uh, colors, um, apli um, aplicaciones, como era? Apps, apps, yes. Apps. Yeah. Okay. Apps. Um, no complication for me. Okay. Okay. That sounds all right. Thank you. So, uh, anybody else, guys? Do you want to add anything about Samsung's or the, uh, Xiaomi? Okay. So I think we don't. Give me just a moment and let's do this. Oh, I can make boys. Give me one second. Give me just a second. No, it will not load. No, it's not loading. Okay, I wanted to make a poll uh, so you can uh, choose who was the winning group, but uh, it is going to take forever here. Okay, guys, so very nice job. I don't think we do have a winner group or like a losing team. So you did it nicely, very nice job and very good at defending your points of view, super nice. Um, Elizabeth, very nice participation. That was really cool. So guys, uh, Kenya, I'm super glad to listen to you talk a little more the judy that was really good as well i think um tonight I, I I, helen I just a lot too can you yes it's because today tonight i am free i am oh, i don't work today okay okay oh do you work at night do you normally yes. work at night no and yes Okay. <laughs> because I work, I work from 8 to okay. 6 p.m. Okay. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. But okay. normally my my Shit. journal is, is longer. Okay. Because I, I have a lot of work. And, well, not only me. In our, in our company, we have a lot of work, then we have to, to how do you say, extend there? Do you work OT? Yes, we, we have to work extra hours. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's Normally why. We, we finish to work until 11 or 12. No middle kidding. of the night. Yes. Wow. Okay, that's why sometimes we cannot listen to you. So yeah, I was like, hey, she's talking a lot. I like that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> nice. Well, but I'm glad. But and for, for me, it's good, the participation, because I can practice my pronunciation. If I don't practice my pronunciation, I, I, I can speak because I I understand the English, but my problem is that I can speak a lot because I don't have enough vocabulary. Oh, I think that you communicate quite well, but the thing is that if we don't practice, we feel more nervous and we start forgetting words. So that is super common, but I'm super glad that yesterday, yeah, yesterday and today, I was able to listen to you more. So yes, uh, hopefully we can listen to you more, right, from here on. Today, I think it's only Angelica has been super quiet and Francisca too. So they normally speak a lot. Rafael, you have been very quiet too. I listen to Gabby a lot and today is like, just listening here, you know. <laughs> so Friday and it's everything. Friday. Okay, guys. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, guys, let's go with the last one, but not the least. So that is cars and motorcycles. Guys, let's go for it. So motorcycles. Who is in favor of motorcycles? Can you give me an emoji, guys? Who is in favor of motorcycles? Or who prefers motorcycles more than cars? Nobody? Give me an emoji, guys, if you like motorcycles better. 
Oh my God, nobody. <laughs> okay, motorcycles are cute. Okay, because so the motorcycles are cute. Andrea. I, well, well. Okay, so only <laughs> Andrea. It's a liar. No, it's a liar. Because you can avoid the traffic. Definitely, yes, guys, we are in recession. <laughs> so having a motorcycle is a blessing. You know, you in a cycle, can you can save do the a same. lot of money. Okay, well, guys, okay, so let's go with motorcycles. Totally agree with that. But I fell from the motorcycle, you know, I fell off, I scratched Enjoy. all my arm. And so you I don't want to ride a motorcycle. That is right. That is totally right. Okay, so in your group, guys, who was defending motorcycles? Hi, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay, Carlos, let's go. Why I want to be in, in, in both sides. <laughs> <laughs> you can know. <laughs> this is a debate. So you have I to defend one or the other. And I use a car. Así de, cállate, Carlos. Eso no but es if you prefer, but if you prefer one, so which one would you rather uh, take, a car or a motorcycle? Uh, if I'm a work, uh, let me use a motorcycle. I go, I use, but you are fine with a motorcycle. Yeah, I like it. I like it, but not, uh, not. I like the the little motorcycle. I like the big models. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't like the best style. Motorcycle is better. Okay. Okay. So Carlos, definitely the motorcycle is the better option. That's a really good point. So um, I think Carlos that you cannot stay with motorcycles. I think that that will work. Yeah. Enrique? Not for rain. Mm, that's a really good point. <laughs> So especially in this season, right? So in winter. Okay, uh, guys, who is going to give us some ideas? About, about motorcycle? Yes. So Carlos, defend motorcycles, please. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> be like in both sides at the same time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Motorcycle has more... Uh, huh? options can i say for mm -hmm. many uses many uh, needs and it depends uh, for what do you need motorcycle offer many options many 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 options and economy fun power uh, there are many reasons for to buy a motorcycle. Uh, maybe in, in the future I will buy one. Oh, okay. So you don't have one at the moment? No, no, no. Okay. I only have a car. Oh, okay. But, but I, I think. But I like oh. the motorcycle, oh. but my family don't let me buy one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're too crazy. The I guess family, right? I, know I, I, I enjoy the spill. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. I remember Margarita oh. was in your group, guys. Margarita, so, Margarita, Virginia. play with it my is... feelings. <laughs> yeah, Andrea. I remember, and Andrea, that's Margarita right. Margarita is motorcycle team. Yeah, Andrea, tell us, tell us about it. Why do you prefer motorcycles? Yes. Yeah. The difference uh, between a car and motorcycle is that I die when the ride I live you get with and in the car you know. Okay, okay. That is one of the reasons, yes. So you can get like to a lot of places and faster, that's for sure. Anything else, guys? Is there any other reasons why motorcycles are better? When you driving, eh, pardon, riding motorcycle, mm -hmm. you can eh, ride in between the cars and the traffic is less okay 
um, maintenance as purpose and the, the price are cheaper. Yes. And... Um, Teacher, you feel powerful. That it's a motorcycle. Yes. <laughs> Okay, guys who rides a motorcycle here. So I, I, think I don't, Andrea. I don't feel powerful. I, I feel vulnerable, vulnerable in the motorcycle. In the yes. No, guys. Yes. No. <laughs> it, it depend of the truth. I feel in danger. You feel okay. You feel in danger. danger. <laughs> Angelica. It's exciting. Okay, so it's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting to be exciting. To... To feel the wind on your face and the speed. Yes. You know, uh, uh, in a Jeep, would... you can feel the same. <laughs> in a Jeep. Well, okay. <laughs> well you know, um, I do have a motorcycle, but as I was telling you, uh, I, um, I was learning to ride a motorcycle, but it was so hard for me. So I fell, I fell only one time, you know, so I kind of Oh, I remember. So I kind of scratched my oil, my whole arm. So I was like, no, nah, not anymore. And before, all my brothers have motorcycles. So one time I was super careless and I got close to the muffer. muffer? I think it's called a, the muffer. I don't remember. Uh, I think it's a muffer in the motorcycle. So the, the muffer or that part of the motorcycle was super hot. Uh, and I just had taken a shower and I was like, oh, your motorcycle is new, you know. I got close to his motorcycle and I, I put my leg next to the muffler. <laughs> I burned my leg completely, you know. So I was like, oh. Sorry so for I you. Like, I love motorcycles because it, it is super cool, but I like to be co-pilot. So I would like to ride a motorcycle on my own, you know. So that's my experience. Guys, uh, and it calls my attention to what Mauricio says. Um, in a Jeep, you can feel the same. Guys, what about uh, the, the car team? So why is the car better? They already said motorcycles are better, more economic, faster. You feel powerful. <laughs> okay, what about um, the car? <laughs> They, you feel they were in danger, but <laughs> okay. Why is the car better, guys? What about the rest of you? Yeah, I think the car is better because of the security, the ah, okay, the safety, safety, yes, capacity, yes, safety. Too. capacity. The I mean, in, a, in a motorcycle, you can have four feet. <laughs> Tell us. People I do it. Angelica. People I, do I it. Think, I think um, better uh, a car, um, for example, in, in freeway, it's more security because the, the motorcycle is very dangerous. <laughs> I oh, like okay. prefer, prefer a motorcycle and in in mountain in in downtown city but no freeway oh okay well that's the point because you have to be super fast so you need to speed i that's agree with point. rafael that's definitely right angelica i think you gotta say something uh, no but <laughs> I really I prefer the car because it's more comfortable and uh, make the uh, trips long. Yeah. Uh, and and motorcycle is is painful. The the back in the in the end of the day you are yes. dead. Yes, I need to agree sure, with I have that. a point of view. Go ahead. Uh, well, uh, we're talking about yesterday about uh, some. Uh, troubles or maybe activities that some people have so for example if, if you tell me if, for example if you have kids obviously you would prefer cars because mm -hmm. it's more safety and, and uh, you you thinking about your family you're in your family plans about your family but obviously for example i i, I explained to my partners that for me the more important about uh 
transportation medium is the time. The time you return in a street. Okay. So that's why you prefer motorcycles. So, uh, for me, it's about the rain, for example, or, or yes, obviously it's, it's more uh, dangerous, but the, the point is to get earlier to my house. And because if I drive a car and I take the same time uh, in a bus, mm -hmm. for me, it has no reason to have a car. And so no. it's, it depends about the activities the person realizes. Okay. Obviously, and, and it's all right, it's okay, because for example, the, 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 the single cars, como en español, como le dicen los, los carros de soltera, bueno, obviously a family couldn't get a car like that because you already have a family. So maybe that's a point of view uh, for choosing motorcycles yeah. or choosing a car. I'm sorry, Madeline, you, you, you muted. Yes, I guess that's only my point of view, teacher. That it depends of the activities oh, oh, that okay. you already done uh, for choosing a motorcycle or car. Or a car. Yeah, that, that's totally right, you know. Um, so definitely, for example, I if I need a, a, mean of, a means of transportation only for myself, so I don't need like a big truck, right? <laughs> so I need something smaller probably, or if I need to get to a place super fast, or I live in areas with a lot of traffic, a motorcycle can be easier. I think somebody wrote there something. Arnoldo says safety depends on how you drive or ride. Guys, that's a very nice Not point ever. that we can that we can uh, debate about. <laughs> what do you think? Safety Not depends ever. on how you drive or ride. Not Why? Ever. Um, the alcoholics that drive. Okay. Don't care that if you drive safely. Okay. You but if you think about it, the alcoholics, a, it's not it's nothing about the really, way you drive. Uh, it's about some 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 other points of view. For example, the personality. Maybe if we talk about how you drive, we can talk about uh, the example of the partner says if you drive between the cars. That is something. It's not a, a good position, but it's. Uh, but you do it already. Okay, so it depends on your personality. You say so. It depends on you. Um, I think Rafael, I heard you. Gabby, I, yeah, I'm like. I, I think I, you I, I know. <laughs> you want to say with something? Mauricio. You agree with Mauricio? I I don't agree with my Mauricio. They oh, don't like the you with the the other drivers. Then they don't respect with the motorcycle. Yes, that's my that's my point. That, that yes. is what Mauricio mentioned. That, for example, if you, if probably you are, you know, uh, driving properly in your limit of a speed, but not everybody respects that, right? Uh, guys, go ahead. Anybody else? Arnoldo. I don't know if you wanted to add something there. No, I think that the safety depends because if I have two motorcycles and I oh, like oh, oh. a lot ride fast, but depends of the street, the traffic, in, uh, no, all the time we can ride fast. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. It depends on the conditions too. Um, yep. Okay, tell us, Gabby. I haven't heard. I just took. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, I'll go with Gabby and then Carlos. <laughs> uh, well, I think cars are like safer because obviously you can um you have like um like the uh, el um el control de su camino eh, okay. um, and, and also you have uh like like you feel like more safety because you are driving alone and you are not uh, so uh, 
que está como susceptible a un robo o a algún daño que some, somebody else wants to do it. Probably in you are in a motorcycle, uh, anyone in a stop, in a traffic light, someone could approach you and probably stole you and I don't know, hit you to steal your motorcycle, but if you're in a car, you can lock your doors and you're safe. Also in, well, um, I have an experience that my grandfather uh, died in a motorcycle, so I'm not I'm agree with that. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, yes. really sorry. Um, so yeah, that's why I think like cars are always better than a motorcycle. And well, yeah, but there are a lot of benefits because you avoid traffic and obviously it's more economic and probably you look like fabulous or cooler because you look like a red or something like that but i uh, personally i wouldn't let i wouldn't choose a motorcycle that's okay. all not even if like you are in, like in an emergency and you need to get to a place super fast probably it's in an emergency yes i would do it but uh if i have to choose something because uh, between a car or a motorcycle obviously i i, I choose a car Okay, okay. Yeah, definitely. And besides, there is like some background experience as well. All right. All right. Guys, that has been amazing to listen to you. Thank you so much for participating, for giving your opinions, you know. Um, I know that it's Friday, so we are just almost, almost done here. But I just want to, uh, before going into the last part, um, I want to go over one word before I forget um that can be quite confusing sometimes so we have the word safety and we have the word safe okay super similar um the meaning is actually you know the same but we use it in a different way so what is safety normally we use it like seguridad right and uh, safe is seguro so those are like a little bit different um we use them in different contexts so for example, um, if I want to use the word safe, I can say I feel safer um, in a car, right? Or I feel safer in a truck, or I don't feel safe in a bus, right? Or in a motorcycle. So we have the word safe. The comparative would be safer, right? And safety, that is the other word. Can you give me examples with safety? Anything that comes to your mind with safety? I feel more safety in a car than in a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So we would use the second, we would just safer. I feel safer in a car than in a motorcycle. So safety is a little bit more general and we use it with other words. For example, the country or the government, the government has applied Oh, wait a second, it has applied some safety measures, right? Or some safety procedures. So what is the difference? That the word safety is exactamente seguridad. Um, but no en el sentido de me siento seguro, right? Or yo estoy seguro. Um, for example, if we describe, I don't know, soy a pango. So we want to say the word safe or soy a pango is safe or soy a pango is not safe. Pero safety sería más general. That would be very, very general, right? So this refers to seguridad. For example, in your companies, most of the companies have safety measures in case of an earthquake, in case of a fire, in case of floating. Um, what else, guys? Any other emergency? <laughs> I cannot think of anything else. So they tell you, for example, in case of an, uh, a fire, uh, listen to the alarm, go to the safe well, area, safe and blur. Uh, an earthquake. Yes. So those are safety Eastward. measures. Mm -hmm. So that is an earthquake. I'm going to write it in the chat. So that is earthquake. Y si es pequeño, it's like super, super small. Le podemos llamar tremor, como un temblorcito. So that can be a tremor too. So just be careful with this. Vamos a practicarlo like in the next class, uh, a little bit about the difference of safety and safe. So we can be, um, you know, 
um, we can use it correctly. All right, guys. So I'm going to go over the attendance para que ya se puedan ir a descansar. <laughs> so please help me with your cameras just a little, um, just for a moment and give me um, confirmation, please. Gracias, guys, a quienes ya terminaron la plataforma, a quienes ya terminaron unit number two. Please, avancemos with the platform so you don't have, eh, para que los compañeros, you know, no los estén presionando, que no lo han terminado, or anything. <laughs> and we can move forward. So, regaleme confirmación, please. I have eh, Mercedes. Present. Thank you so much, Miss. Eh, Andrea. I'm here. Thank you so much. Belén. was here. Carlos? Present teacher, sorry. Thank you, no worries. That's okay. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Delmi? Who's here? Enrique? Present. Thank you. Francisco? Present. Thank you. Helen? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Elizabeth? Present. Teacher? <laughs> yes, Miss. Uh, can you say Imelda? Because <laughs> I don't understand what you say, Elizabeth. Oh, okay, okay. Recordaba que me había dicho que prefería Elizabeth, pero no sé si no. I'm wrong. Ah, oh, okay. Never mind then. Yeah. <laughs> La vez anterior por eso era como, <laughs> ¿quién es Elizabeth? Okay. Uh, Arnoldo? That's all right, no worries. Uh, Ricardo. Oh, Ricardo, we missed him. Uh, Kenya? Present. Kenya Ruiz, right? Right. Okay, thank you. Angelica and Jeremica. Thank you. No sé por qué me recuerda los Rugrats nombre. <laughs> Gabby. Present. Reminds me a lot. Uh, Margarita. Present. Thank you. Rafael. Present. Ruben. Ruben no vino. Eh, Judy. Here, teacher. Thank you so much. And Mauricio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys. So let me see. Helen. Okay. So, Helen, eh, solo se me regalo un par de minutitos, please, para nuestro one-on-one. -on -one. Eh, si no tiene tiempo, si tiene algo que hacer, let me know para cambiar con alguien más, right? Guys, estamos dismissed. Nos vemos hasta el día lunes. I'll be seeing you Monday. Have an amazing weekend, guys. See you. Have a good Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye. Enjoy Bye -bye. it. See you, everybody. See you. See you. Investigate. Hello. Hi, Miss. Thank you. Um, thank you for joining. Le voy a robar un par de minutitos para nuestro one on one, right? Um, so, first, gracias, Miss, por, por estar acá. La he visto pendiente, like, en todas las clases. Creo que no me ha faltado hasta el momento ya. Yeah? And uh, creo que me he completado, like, all the activities as well. Um, so, thank you so much for that. ¿Cómo se siente, Miss? How do you feel? Um, yesterday, today, siento que me participó a little more. So very nice. Very good job with that. Uh -huh. No sé si es por pena. No sé si es por, you know. <laughs> Just so you tell me. Sí, teacher. Eh, lo que pasa es que eh, siento que me falta más vocabulario. Lo sé porque no me queda tiempo de practicar. Eh, trabajo de 8 a 8. Pero las veces que le he escuchado, me organiza la ciudad súper bien. So, gramaticalmente sí. hablando, it's like super cool. <risa> Thank you, teacher. Sí, pero sí, este, eh, hoy sí me eh, por, he tratado de la manera de empaparme más y okay. de participar ah, más sí, porque al principio sí, no le voy a negar por pena quizás o porque me voy a equivocar o no voy a decir una palabra bien, entonces a veces me quedo callada pero sí no. 
No, equivoques en mí, no worries. <risa> That's it. No, pero, pero me agrada mucho, yo no me agrada mucho porque sí la he escuchado eh, these previous days, participando un poquito more, like trying to participate more, giving opinions. And I was like, hey, Helen se comunica bien, you know? So I was like, no, entonces quizás personalidad, right? Quizás le da pena, or, or yeah, es bien normal. So that is like super, super normal that it happens. Now. Sí, teacher, pero si de lo contrario estoy, estoy bien. Eh, me siento bien y pues eh, nice. con los compañeros igual eh, ya eh, estamos varios módulos entonces estoy aprendiendo de ellos también actually eso es como de las mejores actividades that we can do like to talk to share y sobre todo cuando uno no sabe algo eh, preguntarle you know uh, o a veces cuando uno sabe algo también compartirlo so that helps sí, a sí. lot porque hace que usted se recuerde también de, o uno tiene las ganas de, de ayudar más, you know, and, and we get more vocabulary. So, um, me dice que es por vocabulario, but to be honest, quiero aprovechar pues esta one on one también, porque no es lo mismo tener a 20, escuchar a 20, o escuchar a alguien detenidamente, you know, y saber cómo se le puede ayudar, um, con qué está teniendo dificultades, etc. So, uh, me gustaría practicar el, el ejercicio que teníamos at the very beginning uh, with you, right? Eh, para escucharla un poquito más detenidamente. Um, uh -huh. To listen, si es eh, vocabulario o si solamente es un poco de, de um, fluency, lo que necesitamos, o conectores. Uh -huh. A veces no es vocabulario, you know? A veces lo que necesitamos solo es como palabras para conectar. So, words to connect ideas. Tenemos la idea, pero no sabemos cómo conectarla. Um, uh -huh. And this way nos puede saber, like, nos puede ayudar a saber cómo, hacia dónde puedo ayudarla, you know? Qué tipo de actividades le puedo dejar para que mejoremos. And, y usted ve también saltitos, right? Ya, ya para, para irse avanzado. So, uh -huh. Okay. Eh, let, let's give it a try. Let's go have a picture. So select a picture. Um, yeah. And uh, no importa que no sea relacionado con esto. Let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. Number two. Ah, okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Tell me about it. Um, plants. Oh, okay. Do you like plants? Yes. Ah, oh, nice. Tell me about them. What's your favorite plant? Eh, cosechar, ¿cómo se dice? Um, grow, you can use the word grow. Ah, okay. Grow, seal, semilla era, ¿verdad? Yeah. Um, es plum, flowers, uh -huh. um, insect. Uh -huh. Vegetable, ¿cómo se dice? Be vegetable. Vegetable. Yes, vegetable. okay. And only. Oh, okay, no, no problem. That sounds good. Okay, now tell me, uh, tell me about, you say that you like plants, right? Mm -hmm. Do you like flowers or only plants? Only like leaves or trees? Do you have plants in your house? Yes. Okay. What kind of plants do you have? Do you have flowers? Uh, see flowers. Uh, okay. Very nice. Uh, I, ro uh -huh. Rosas. Um, I don't know how to say it. Roses. No, that's okay. Flowers. So you have flowers. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, I love flowers. So my sister has like a lot of plants in the My house is a small but we like flowers and plants. Uh, we have a lemon tree. We have a star fruit tree. We have roses. Um, mm -hmm. And we, ha we have more, but I don't remember the names, but we have a lot of plants. What is your favorite? Uh, roses. Mm -hmm. Why? Why do you like roses? Um, colors. Okay. Eh, suavidad, ¿cómo se dice? Soft, or the Soft. texture, the texture. Ah, texture. Uh -huh. 
Gibbs. Hello. Four. Four. Ay, ¿cómo decirlo? Por, eh, ¿Son llamativas? O? They are colorful. Uh -huh. y este, okay. eh, adornos, algo así. Ok, ok. Yes, uh, for decoration, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Ok, ok, very It's nice. House. Ok, very nice. So, Uh, let's do the following. Vamos a enfocarnos en rosas. So, we're going to focus here in roses. Cuando describimos eh, objetos, cosas, people, vamos a necesitar siempre como un sujeto. Entonces, podrían ser como son rosas, son plurales. Vamos a hacer oraciones completas. Ok, ahora ayúdenme con los adjetivos. Uh, me dijo que eran coloridas, right? Que eran como llamativas. Yes. So we can use the word colorful. ¿Qué más? Give, give me more. Give me more words. Um, texture. Ah, ok. So you like the texture. You like the colors. Ok. What else? ¿Qué más le gusta? What do you like about them? Hay el olor. Ah, smell. Ok. Smell. Mm -hmm. Only. Uh, okay. Okay. So, what do we need? Necesitamos I like y necesitamos they are. Y eso es todo para empezar a ordenar nuestras ideas. Okay. So, now, intente contarme lo mismo. Try to tell me the same, pero ahora háganme ideas completas como they are or I like. Uh, for example, in my case, I like. Smell. I like. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Me falta una palabrita por acá. Que sería the smell, como el olor, right? I like the smell. Mm -hmm. I like the smell. Okay. Sorry, teacher. No, no, no worries. That's okay. Igual ustedes ya escucharon toda la jauría de vecinos. <laughs> That's all right. Um, uh -huh. I like the colors. Yes. Um, Ahí sería, there are texture. Uh, no, porque es la textura. Entonces sería como, oh, creo que me decía soft. So soft es suavidad. So ellas ah, son suaves, sería, pero me soft. gusta la textura. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces ahí sería, there are soft. They are soft, exactly. Ok, y uh, sería, I like colorful. Colorful, colorful. Ok. Repita conmigo, colorful. Colorful. Yes. So, colorful es como llamativas. Entonces, ellas son llamativas. They are colorful. They are colorful. Yes, very good. No, there we go. Right. Una vez más, dígame lo mismo. Una vez más. And un poquito más fluido. So, try, try, try. Ok. Eh, they are colorful. I like soft. Eh, I like texture. I like okay. colors. I love the smell. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Sounds good. Sí, sounds good. Vamos ahora a agregarle un poquito más. Eh, vamos a agregarle las palabras en. Vamos a agregarle la palabra also para dar más información. Uh, for example, I like El Salvador. Eh, y le podemos agregar un par de palabritas como, por ejemplo, because I like El Salvador, because it is small, but it is beautiful. Um, there are a lot of people, and uh, it is uh, tropical, uh, and I like the beaches, and I like the pupusas. So, le vamos a agregar estas palabritas, and, ya yeah, le vamos a agregar because para dar una explicación. So let's give it a try. One more time, one more time. Lo mismo, solo le vamos agregando esas palabritas. Um, eh, con estas palabras que estábamos aquí. Sí, a mí lo mismo que me acaba de decir, solo que le vamos a agregar esto más para ir conectando las ideas. Like, por ejemplo, me gustan las rosas porque. So I like roses ah. because. Uh -huh. ah, ok. I like roses because. Uh... Texture, mm -hmm. uh, colors, mm -hmm. 
Mm, there are soft. Mm -hmm. Y vamos a agregar estas. And also. Also, exacto. Cualquiera de las dos. There are soft and yes. texture. Yes. I like, I like the texture. I like texture. Okay. And I like colors. Also, okay. also there are. I like the smell. Very nice. Good job. That's super nice. Super, super nice. So, very good. ¿Qué es lo que entonces necesitamos? Necesitamos ir armando las ideas completas, right? Agregarle sí. primero a uh, un sujeto, un verbo para extender la idea. And we need un par de conectores. Estos conectores, you know, le puede tomar captura si gusta. Ellos son su mejor amigo. And also because in that, siempre los vamos a utilizar para cualquier situación. Y le voy a dejar una tarea. So I'm going to give you one little homework. So, okay. vamos a empezar a trabajar. Vamos a empezar a trabajar con adjetivos, all right? Para empezar a armar eh, nuestro vocabulario. Uh -huh. ¿Usted usa, usa notas o usa cuadernito o algo? Eh, sí, 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 uso. Ok, vale. Entonces, en su cuaderno le voy a pedir que divida su cuaderno y deje un pedacito, you know. Um, a mí me funciona mucho utilizar las esquinas del cuaderno. So, what I normally do es que yo utilizo páginas and um, hago es algo así, you know, let me show you. So, what I do es que dejo los últimos pedacitos de mi cuaderno, como acá, you know, el último esquinita, lo utilizo para vocabulario o la esquinita de arriba or something. So, vamos a escribir adjetivos y el significado. Pero le voy a dar una lista de cinco palabras para que usted me comience a hacer um, adjectives. Vale. Las rosas ya las tenemos. So, roses. Necesito que me escriba las rosas. Sencillo, you know, sin palabras rebuscadas. So, they are, ellas son... Y busquemos todas las palabras para describir las rosas, right? Cinco palabras para rosas, I think that is good. Then, me va a escribir lo siguiente. You're going to describe El Salvador. El Salvador como es uno, it is. Cinco palabras para describir El Salvador. Es pequeño, es grande, es caluroso, you know, es bonito. Five words para que empecemos a armar oraciones. Then, me va a escribir a su familia. My family is... Cinco adjetivos que usa para su familia. ¿Cómo su familia? Es peleonera, you know? <risa> o es unida, o es uh, ruidosa, o es callada. So, five words to talk about your family. Y eso nos va a dar ya una idea, you know, how to put it together. Then, vamos a describir uh, quién es su, su actor, su cantante favorito, o actress. Uh, Enrique Iglesias. <risa> Ok, good, good, good. Enrique Iglesias. Vamos a describir a Enrique Iglesias. Soy Enrique Iglesias, que es cinco adjetivos para describirlo. Puede ser physically, puede ser personalidad. That's ok. One, two, three, four. Y lo último vamos a hacer, ¿verdad que no me envió el audio? Y yes, este teacher se lo envió. Se lo envió. Ok, lo voy a revisar. I'm going to check it. I don't remember now. Ok. okay. Uh, do you have babies? Yes. How, a boy or a girl? Well, a, boy, uh, a boy, a boy or a girl? A son or uh, a daughter? Here in boy. Oh, you have two. Yes. <laughs> okay, so my babies are. So, vamos a hacer una descripción de sus bebés, right? Le llamamos babies, no importa la edad, mija, aunque ya tenga 20, 30 años. <laughs> so, my babies are. So, same thing, you know, cinco palabras para describirlo. Vamos primero. My babies are, for example, intelligent. Mm -hmm. Intelligent. Y vamos a usar de una sola vez, and. So, para ir ordenando ideas. My babies are intelligent and crazy, for example. A ellos les gusta, they like, y escribimos el resto, right? Okay. O solamente con adjetivos. They are friendly. But they are lazy. So ya yeah, agregué muchos adjetivos here. Y, you know, de ser posible adjetivos que sean nuevos para usted. Palabras que sean nuevas. 
Eh, cuando yo lo tenga, le tomo una captura. So take a screenshot, right? Me la envía y luego vamos a practicar eh, pronunciación, ¿ok? Y luego practicamos también ya con conectores. So, ni si a mí se me olvida pedírsela, recuérdeme, please, que a mí se me olvida. <ríe> Yo soy bien olvidada. But, eh, vamos a empezar a trabajar con estos. Little by little, you know, cuando ya lo tengamos, vamos a agregar más y más y más y más, you know, para ir extendiendo un poquito el vocabulario. Okay. So, uh, no es necesario que lo haga ahorita, mis vaya a dormir, go and sleep. <laughs> me lo envía el lunes, you know, send it to me on Monday or el fin de semana if you have the time, all right? Okay, thank you. Okay. Perfect, perfect. So, vamos a ir trabajando vocabulary little by little. Déjenme ver también si le puedo compartir eh, un par de ejercicios más, you know, para que vayamos little by little adding more vocabulary to you. I'm sorry, okay. miss, ya le robé tiempo. <laughs> Your time. Thank you so much for everything, and uh, I let you I let you sleep, Miss. So see you tomorrow. Have a uh, see you on Monday. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Welcome. Bye bye.